Hello there everyone, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Skyrim Tundra Defense. And uh, last time we built the the black smithery type place and uh, also, hold on, a moment of uh, extreme pride and joy for me happened. And his body's gone. Anyway, the traveling merchant, uh, you know that orc that was just hanging around Lake Mere, just, uh, just doing whatever he wanted and not paying me any taxes for it, he died. He got killed, so, um, that was pretty friggin' awesome, because I hated that guy and I wanted to kill him, uh, you alright there, lady, you yeah, whatever, you, you should be dead, you're very stupid. Anyway, uh, the first order of business is to find Flynn Grestis, because, uh, Mr. Colby has been wanting me to find a companion for a while now, and I told him that I hated the, uh, companions that were in the game. And it says he's following me, and he's not, so... Mm -hmm. Stop following me, Flynn. You following me now? Nope. Alright. Now start following something. me. Yes. Follow me, Flynn. Flynn! Mm -hmm. Hey, asshole. You work for me, buddy. You should follow me around and do what I want you to. All right, yeah, I I don't know what's Need going something. on here. It uh, it says he's following me. He doesn't follow me whether he's set to one or set to zero regarding uh, following or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever, I guess. I guess um, <clears throat> we'll just have to deal with dog meat for now. Dog meat will be our current companion. Where is he? Mm -hmm. Hey, what are you doing, dog meat? Whatever. Alright, well, um, let me check my plan, see if there's anything I need to build. By the way, uh, right before I started recording, we got some more money in taxes. It was, uh, 180 gold. And, no, it's under food. I always forget. Yeah, no, we don't really need anything, so that's good. Uh, I guess I will wait until daylight, and then we'll do some raids. That sounds alright. Yeah, but uh, anyway, sorry about that, Colby. He will not follow me, so, uh, yeah. I guess we'll just have to do with dog meat for the time being. Uh, I like dogs, and like I told you, I hate cats. So I'm not going to get a cat companion because I really don't like cats at all. Anyway, let's do a, a raid here. Uh, more bandits, I guess. Like usual. Why don't you follow me, Flynn? You know, I pay you good money to sit on your ass and do nothing. At least you could do is do something. Ass. Yeah, well, uh, Flynn is pretty damn useless then. I mean, he's killed some people. He's able to uh, survive and kill people and all this. There you go. Now, uh, by cats, I assume you meant like an actual cat and not, uh, not a... Wait, just take all. Yeah, take all. Nope. Nope, I take all. It's R. Okay, yeah, I'm uh I'm used to playing Fallout New Vegas. And uh R is not take all in Fallout New Vegas. But uh yeah, what was I saying? Um Nope. Alright, okay. R. It's R. I've gotta shove it through my membranes that R and Tab are the two keys I need to remember. And that's who are you? Don't no, don't come over here. Just What is wrong with all of you people? Oh, they're in town. My guard is dead. Undoubtedly, he's dead. Yeah, that's cuz I uh, was not. Would you quit blocking, man? That's just an annoyance when they do that. I mean, it doesn't make me angry or anything, but it's just like god damn, I can't get a hit on you. Why don't you stop it? <laughs> Jesus. Well, that guy wasn't blocking, certainly not. Oh, Flint. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Flint. Sorry. Okay, Flynn's alive. Bandit Raider leader is dead. I'm over encumbered. Um, guard is guard is alive. Look at this. Hey, hey, come over here. I'm having some trouble. I'm kind of fat. All right, yeah, forget you then, asshole. No, Serio, I don't need. Why are you following me, man? Anyway, uh, what I was saying way earlier is uh. 
by cat, I, I thought you meant like a saber cat or like a kitten or something and not like, uh, I know I'm carrying too much game. And not like, um, not the, what are they called? Cashmere? No, that's a Led Zeppelin song. Khajiit. Yeah, they're Khajiit. They're not Cashmere. That's a Led Zeppelin song. Alright, but, um, yeah, I thought by cat you meant like a saber cat or something, and in which case, yeah, I don't really like cats, and like those kind of cats, I don't like those, I hate those, because they claw you and they're assholes, but, uh, like Khajiit, I actually like Khajiit, they're pretty funny people, like I like their voice and the way they talk, it's pretty funny, but, um, I might see if I can, like, make a companion or something for you with the creation kit, because, uh, as long as it's somewhat close to the Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas Gek, the Skyrim creation kit or whatever, then, uh, I should be able to make a com companion without a problem, but, you know, in which case I'll make him a Khajiit because you wanted a cat companion, but, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure you meant, um, um, a kitten, like a kitten cat, an animal cat and not the, uh, the humanoid Khajiit. But, uh, yeah, I might, I might look into that, or I might just totally forget about it, or just get too lazy or something. Hey, Hank. Need something? Take a look. <clears throat> Thank you, Hank. And you have your gold back. Excellent. Alright, let's see. We have iron daggers. Iron, uh, we've got, like, iron everything for you here, buddy. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy. Trident blade. 15, 15, hmm, I like the look of this trident blade, uh, you can have that, you can have like all of this garbage, yeah, I know that, uh, the fur helmet or whatever is better than my current hide helmet, but it's, uh, it's only by one point, so I really don't care. If anybody was wondering why I keep selling things that have the little uh, triangle or whatever next to the name indicating that it's better than what I currently have, uh, it's because I, I don't really care for one extra point. And that was all we have for Mr. Anderson there. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I really don't know why Flynn uh, won't follow me. Uh, hey, do you want to follow me, buddy? I'll go following. He follows me. Um, alright, well, let me, I don't know if this still works in, uh, uh, Skyrim. I've only used it in Fallout, so his name is gonna be G. Script command, set name, not found. Uh, am I clicking on the right? Yeah, I'm clicking on him. I don't know. I don't really console command anything in Skyrim, but, uh, are you gonna die on me? I'm pretty sure he's gonna die on me if he's my uh, companion. I'm just gonna leave him out here because uh, he'll he'll most definitely get murdered if he's following me around. But um, something else I wanted to say was uh, forgot to favorite that weapon. Yeah, that's not it. But um, favorite it and uh, nope. Hold on, I, I'm really not uh, the best at multitasking so I have to do something when I'm talking like if I have to do something when I'm talking uh, one of the two things I'm doing talking or doing whatever is just gonna end horribly because I can't do it I've got to focus on talking or staring at plants either one but anyway uh, the other thing I wanted to go on about was that um, you guys have probably noticed more than I have I've been slacking on the videos lately so uh, I thought soon enough I would start doing some of the Fallout New Vegas uh, downloadable content packs or whatever, like, uh, those, those just DLC that you buy and it adds, like, a new world, a new quest that you can go and do crap in, um, uh, I thought I would do some of those, so if you guys like Fallout New Vegas, uh, yeah, you can tune into that and all that, I'll be doing the DLC shortly, hopefully, but, um, yeah, if you're not a fan of Fallout New Vegas or Fallout or whatever, then, you know, you don't have to watch by any means. But, um, if you do like it, then, you know, it's just something I'm going to be uploading. It certainly won't take uh, priority over Tundra Defense, but, um, <coughs> it's just something to upload in the meantime. So, you know, I'll always have either Tundra Defense or uh, the DLC to upload. So, you know, I always have one of the two going. So, yeah, if you like Fallout, Fallout New Vegas or any of that crap, then, um, I'll be doing the DLC soon enough, so, 
yeah, tune into that if you would like, please, and um, let's get a raid going. Another raid. Do bandits again. <clears throat> and uh, by the way, I'm actually paying attention to what time I started and paying attention to uh, what time I'm going to end it. That way, I know when it's been at least 30 minutes, because um, <clears throat> if you've watched this entire series, you know, sometimes I say uh, at least it's been 30 minutes, and it hasn't been 30 minutes, it's been like 20 or something. And uh, one time I said it's been at least 20 minutes, and it was like 45 minutes, so... You know, my, my time-telling abilities without a clock or anything is really just terrible. So I've got my cell phone right next to me, and uh, I started recording at... Uh, what hour is it? I didn't pay attention to the hour. 11. Alright, so I started recording at 11.45, and it is 11.54 now. So that's about 9 minutes, maybe 10. And there are a lot of people out here. I did not expect this. Oh, crap. Crap. Health. Was not even paying attention, to be completely honest. Get killed, lady. I hate you. And I hate you, too, sir. Yeah. Alright, so uh, we'll come and loot them in a second. I just want to deal with these fools over here. Yeah, I guess the archers have... Hey, hey, leave the citizen alone. Lady, quit running away. Why don't you run back to town, you stupid fool? You know what? Whatever. Go ahead and kill her. Go ahead and kill her. She deserves it. She's a fool. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Should have killed that lady. You really should have killed that lady. Oh, well then. Right through the bottom of the mouth, through the top of the skull. That must have been very painful. That poor lady. Hey! Where did that one run off to? Hey, citizen. Oh, she's... Hey. Hey, go back to town, alright? Go back into your house or whatever. Hey. Reset. You get the hell out of here. I need to build a damn fence around my village just to keep these morons inside. Not even keeping the enemies outside. I just need to keep these stupid fools in Lake Mayor. Yeah, I'm getting attacked by a bandit. Let me friggin' run off away from all the guards and all the people that can save me, because I'm a goddamn genius. <laughs> that lady is an idiot. Uh, you know, I, honestly, I hope she dies somehow or another, because uh, she's kind of like the traveling merchant to me now. She's, uh, she's an idiot, and she's just going to be a major annoyance later on, so I just hope she dies early. Took that traveling merchant, what, like seven episodes to die? I should have just killed him. Somebody said, I think it was Josh, he told me to. It was pretty funny, um, I read the comments on the, uh, part 7 earlier, and Josh was like, uh, kill the traveling merchant, and then, uh, the traveling merchant actually died later on in the video, so he replied to his own comment, he was like, never mind, <laughs> he's already dead. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I should have killed him, I should have indeed killed him, Josh, let me tell you. Really should have done that a lot earlier than it actually took him to die on his own. I don't have any messages. Uh, dog meat, you're no longer following me. I wish you would follow me around, buddy. And our guard is dead, isn't he? Because he's gone. I don't see him anywhere. Well, there's Flynn. I don't know what Flynn is doing way out here, to be completely honest with everyone. I mean, he's out here all the time. He just hangs out around here. Anyway, I need to go to, uh, oh, I need to get a level up first. And then we're going to go to uh, White Run. Um, let's go with health. I don't use Magicka or whatever enough to really upgrade it. <clears throat> like, all I do is that basic uh, healing spell. And then health. I almost got killed a second ago because I wasn't... Uh, no, actually, I clicked on speech. I want to... No, what are you doing? Right there. Okay, I see. I have to click uh, up above. Whatever. Let me buy this one. Because we do a lot of uh, selling, so the more gold we can get from selling, the better. Yeah. Great art of speechcraft, my boy, is to tell them what they want to hear in a way that gets them to do what you want them to do. Exactly, Carl Ovac, or whatever your name is. 36 battles. No, no, Mind Mindothrax or whatever. You're a filthy liar. 36 battles. Yeah. You know, whatever that guy wants to tell the people, 
whatever people are gullible enough to believe, that's what they'll just believe, and that's what well, people will say. Go. That's what uh, that guy was going on about. Bottom right corner guy, I didn't know his name. Yeah, or I actually, I knew his sell. name, I just forgot like 10 seconds ago. I couldn't pronounce it, that's what I remember, and then uh, I forgot, so... He's not going to be mentioned ever again. Don't don't worry about that. You'll never hear uh, his name. And armor. Yeah, so, um... Bellathor's business is doing pretty good. I mean, I've said this once before, but uh, this guy's got to be just doing... Just doing fine. He is doing great with all this crap I'm selling him. He probably sells it back to people at like three or four times the price he paid for it. Because he's a douche. But, uh, anyway... We're done here. So I need to remove that waypoint. I've had it there since uh, the very beginning of the game. So I should probably get rid of that because I know where my town is now. I don't need a waypoint for it. I'm going to do that as soon as the loading screen is done, as a matter of fact. That is the only way things will get done pretty much with me is if I do them immediately when I want them done. So, waypoint. How do I set a waypoint? Click? Yeah, click. All right. Yep, like I said, I've uh, been playing Fallout too much, so uh, things are pretty different. But uh, anyway, yeah, the DLC. Once again, if you would like to see that, they'll be here probably soon. I haven't recorded any of them. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get my character all ready for it because the DLC are pretty tough. Plus, we've got some a bunch of mods that we'll be using to make the game even tougher. So, it's going to be pretty entertaining, I think. I'll probably die quite a few times. I might rage a little bit. What is an idle marker? We're doing it. Because I don't know what it is. Silo. I don't want any of this. What is this? Werewolf head spike. Nope. Alright. All right, then. See ya, Cerio. But, um... Yeah, so anyway, pretty much uh, whenever I get my character leveled up and with enough skills and all that to be able to actually uh, survive the DLC, then we'll probably be doing that. And uh, like I said, if you don't like it, don't tune in by any means, but um, if you do like it, it'll just be something extra I'm doing so that there's pretty much always, almost always, a video that I'm, uh, that I'm doing. Oh, okay, this is reusable, I see. So let's put an idle marker by the uh, the old fire here. There we go. And another right there. And then we're done. Alright, backslash. Nope, uh, backslash. Okay, there we go. We have to hold it. Alright, anyway. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, I gotta put crap in the uh, building up here. But, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was actually trying to get my character ready for everything and not console command or anything I actually didn't even give myself some gold which is uh, which is pretty new for me because every time I play like Fallout or anything I always console command the hell out, hell out of it and give myself a bunch of gold because um, I had all the Fallout well not all the Fallouts I had Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas for the uh, Xbox 360 there's Flan finally out here doing something and not standing over by the bridge jacking it but um yeah, I played Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas on the Xbox, and you can't console command on the Xbox. You can't, like, cheat and give yourself anything or anything like that. So I think Flynn should be able to take care of them, but, um... <clears throat> so once I got them on PC, it was kind of, like, refreshing to be able to just give myself whatever the hell I wanted. So I kind of took way too much advantage over that and, uh... Console commanded myself everything. I also played Skyrim on, uh, Xbox before PC, so... Uh, that is why I kind of console command every now and then. I don't think I've used a console command this whole time. Uh, in this Let's Play, when I was doing uh, Tundra Defense, but um, when I did the showcase or whatever of Tundra Defense, I had given myself like uh, a million gold or something like that to uh, set up the outpost. But with this one, it's actually pretty cool because uh, I'm working for everything. I have to sell everything I get off the uh, dead enemies and all this, and the raid is over. I guess the others are over by uh, Flynn, because I didn't see any over here. I don't know. I really don't. They're, they're, they are, I can't even pronounce, they are probably over by our veterans retreat here. So I'm going to go check this out and see if I can find them. Where's everybody at, Flynn? 
Hey, Flynn. Alright, well, um, I guess he's deaf. You know, he probably is deaf, as a matter of fact, because I tell him to follow me, and he doesn't follow me. I need to, need to uh, learn how to do that hind, hand language. Yes, hind language. I need to speak language of the hind quarters. Um, I guess that was all of them. I can't find, uh, I can't find another. Well, that obviously wasn't all of them, because there's a weapon there. Hey, buddy. I found you. Alright, well, I'll, all I can find is three, so that's probably enough uh, inventory space for me to start another raid. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do bandits on easy again while Flynn is out here on this flank actually guarding things. And, yeah, there's one that spawned. Hello there. What is... Oh, you're an Argonian. I thought that was a helmet you were wearing. Like, Jesus. Yeah, sorry about that, Mr. Uh, Argonian. Yep, and Flynn just brutally murdered this guy. Hold on a second, I want to make sure, um... I want to make sure Flynn is actually, um... GBO... Script command GBO, not... Alright, yeah, all these console commands are from Fallout. I, for some whatever stupid reason, thought they, um... They might think it was a good idea to use the same console commands for Skyrim as uh, Fallout so that you wouldn't have to relearn everything, but no, that's, that's just not how you do things here at Bethesda. So, uh, I don't know any console commands, it would seem. I know, uh, player.give item F 50,000 gives you 50,000 gold, but other than that, I'm completely useless when it comes to Skyrim console commands. So, hopefully Flynn is, uh, essential. If not, then he'll die and I'll have to pay 3,000 gold to replace him. That's always fun. But he probably is essential. That or he's not going to die because he has ebony armor on. But uh, I don't know because my guards have uh, steel armor on and uh, you know you hit them with a toothpick and they explode into a million pieces. So I don't know how it's going to go but you, you don't dare touch dog meat. You get killed. Alright. Alright, she's dead. Uh, you can urinate on her body if you want dog meat. She deserves it. What kind of person hits a dog? Oh, oh. Oh, flankeroo. Weren't expecting it up the ass, were ya? Here we go, she's dead. Alright, nice going, Flynn. You are, uh, you are promoted. <coughs> Indeed, he is promoted. Oh my god. Yeah, well, um... I don't like cutting the video here, but I don't want you guys to have to sit... Hold on. Just hold on. That is not cheating, because we are not under attack or anything, so, um... I'm just using it to run over here and put things in there, and then I'm taking it immediately off. Here we are. Take that off. And, yeah. Oh, oh. Maybe that was a little cheatery, because, uh, now over encumbered doesn't... Oh, wait. Did I, uh... You know, that's another coincidence, I guess. I remember, uh, Bellathor, or whatever, some, some, uh, merchant. He had, like, a certain amount of gold left, and then I sold him something that was worth exactly the amount of gold he had, so that was pretty, uh, coincidental. And then that there, my weight being exactly at its limit, that's pretty coincidental, too. Because, I mean, what are the odds of you picking up a certain amount of items, however many items you have, that add up to... 315 pounds. I don't know, but, uh... Does, uh, Anderson have his money yet? I hope he does. I wish, um... I wish you could, like, upgrade Mr. Anderson here to have more gold, because, uh... Take a look. Now that we have the general store, I really hate when I have to go to White Run to sell crap. Because we have our own store now, so we don't really... He's got a hundred gold, so let me just get rid of the, uh, the armor I have. Nope. I'm not giving you nothing for free, Anderson. Oh. Get out of here, buddy. I don't know if it actually was for free. He might have paid me, like, half of what it was worth. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess back to White Run, and then we'll sell crap again. Not going to be uh, too bad of a deal. <clears throat> Hopefully not. 
and it's dark so we have to wait 12 hours awesome all right so um yeah waiting and loading screens gotta say I mean it's ultimately uh, it's ultimate just entertainment to me loading screens and uh waiting for the guy I'm watching on YouTube to wait for what 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 the hell what is going on over here a master vampire what are we playing here guys what are we doing hold on hold on guys what what the hell is this all about hold on um armor wasn't vampire armor added in uh, dawn guard you know the funny thing is i don't have dawn guard so i don't know how the hell that spawned in my game i don't know what that was all about but um everybody just swarmed on that guy he did not have a chance why would you dare come into wide run through the main gate if you oh god damn it yep and somebody died because I only got 130 gold from taxes I got a 180 last time you see I don't know why Bellathor opens so late it's almost 10 in the morning and he's still closed <laughs> fool is losing tons of business with the uh, the early risers let me tell you that much I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, uh, too early for you to sell things, huh? I mean, you open your shop, but, uh, no, no, I still need another hour to wake up. I'm not selling anything. Okay, Bellathor, you're an ass. So, let me go outside and wait for an hour. It is now noon. It is now 12 in the afternoon, or not really afternoon, because it is noon. It's not afternoon yet. Anyway, now it's like one, so uh, he should be selling, or I'm going to kill him right in front of town. Just right in front of everybody. I'm going to kill this guy eventually, I know it, because he's such an ass. Yeah, let me wake up at 10 and not open my business. Well, he opened his business at 10, too, but then he didn't sell anything. What kind of businessman are you, Bellathor? You're an idiot. You probably don't even have enough gold to buy the rest of the stuff that I have, either. We have six pairs of shoes. Um, you can have it. Oh, this vampire armor is uh, actually better than my fur armor by three points. How about the boots? Nope, but they look cooler, so I'm keeping them. There you go. Uh, I hope vampire armor and vampire boots. I hope wearing that doesn't make me hostile to everyone. Like, I hope they don't think I'm a vampire. Because I'm obviously not. <clears throat> That's a big reason that I don't want to do any uh, vampire raids in Thunder Defense. Because I'm always worried with vampires that they're going to give me that sanguine vampirus or whatever disease that turns you into a vampire. And then I have to go to a shrine of one of the nine gods or whatever, or the eight, or however many there are, and then uh, pray to that, and he'll get rid of my diseases, but it's still just a pain. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone who's ever played the Elder Scrolls has um, done a full playthrough of the game as a vampire, but I never have, because I cannot stand that crap. Like, I can't feed on enough people, and then I turn into a feral vampire or whatever, to where, uh, as soon as you go into town, everybody can see that you're a vampire because you haven't fed yourself or whatever, and your skin is, like, sunken or whatever, all that crap, but, um, I just, I couldn't do it, because every time I would go to town, they'd be all like, hey, there's a vampire, and then I'd, I'd try to talk him down, you know, say, um, you know, I was just born with these fangs, and, uh, my eyes are only red because, um, uh, because I was born that way, too. But they wouldn't buy it, you know, they'd always just call me a vampire and call me names. And it was really just, it was mainly hurtful, and that's why I can't play uh, as a vampire, because people insult the hell out of you. And then, uh, you know, I got feelings. I got feelings, you know, and it hurts. So I don't do it. In all seriousness, though, uh, yeah, they would, they would try to kill me when I went to town, so I didn't, I couldn't bother with it. I could not do it. Because every time I went to town, bam, dead. So yeah, it really wasn't worth it. 
I remember uh, when Dawn Guard came out. I have all the add-ons for Skyrim. I have like all the add-ons for friggin' everything on Xbox because I mainly play uh, Xbox. I just now, well, not just now, but just recently, like five, six, some months ago, uh, I started getting into PC games, and um, I don't really buy DLCs for games on PC that I've already beaten on Xbox, but uh, I'll be doing that for New Vegas so I can record them and put something else up. So, uh, I already bought one of them, but they're like five bucks now. They used to be more, uh, expensive. But anyway, for Dawn Guard, I did a vampire playthrough so I could do, um, the vampire storyline for Dawn Guard, and then after that, I never played it again, I don't think. Not, uh, Dawn Guard. I've beaten that a few times, but I never played the, uh, vampire character save that I have. And Cerio, you don't need to run into combat, okay? Me and Dogmeat and Flynn and the other guard can take care of it. You're not a part of the defense force over here. That guy had a spell tome, did he not? What are you doing hitting that naked woman's corpse? Oh, what do you have, a sickle? That is a cool weapon. If I was going two-handed, buddy, let me tell you, I would steal your things. Oh, magic, huh? Yeah, yeah, magic. That, hey! Thanks so much, guys, for watching my six. You're all getting a raise, let me tell you. That's honestly... Honestly, what's gonna happen here? You're getting a raise. Where'd the other one go? Here he is. Alright. Um. I guess I'll go to Riften and sell all this stuff now because uh, no one's gonna have any money. I can guarantee it. Bellathor has no money and Anderson isn't gonna have his money yet, so, uh. We're going to Riften. Yes, I do. But yeah, the whole concept of being a vampire, that's pretty cool. But, um, can't do it, won't do it, and uh, I'm never going to try it again because I hate it. In all honesty. It was mainly just because I was doing something wrong. I usually just uh, stick to what I know whenever a new game comes out that I'm trying out. When uh, Fallout 4 comes out, if it does ever come out, I'm going to do the same thing I always do, which is uh, barter, guns, and uh, repair. And that's all I ever do. Let like in, um... Uh, Skyrim here, doing a light armor ranger is actually kind of branching out for me because I always do a sword and shield and heavy armor like paladin type dude. Can I interest you in some fine good? No, I don't want anything from Morrowind. I want you to buy all my crap and love it. Executioner's hook. Hmm. That is cool, but I'm not going for two-handed, so uh, gonna sell it. And these five daggers. I wish they would use something other than uh, daggers. That would be cool. Wow, there's a lot of crap. I hope you have money, buddy. Yeah, you got enough to like buy everything. I have almost three thousand gold. I need to start. Uh, I need to go buy something. I could buy like five guards or something like that. That's gonna be pretty cool. All right. Let's go back and buy some guards, probably another miner to get some more taxes. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't know if I'm going to uh, buy a guard or not because they're useless right now, at least. I don't know if, like, they level up with me. Like, um, their skill depends on my level, like most enemies do. Like, uh,. Uh, when we first started, we were, like, level 1, of course, and the bandit raider... Go back to your house. Go back to your house right now. This is the second time I've told you, lady. If I catch you outside the boundaries of Lake Mere again, you're dead. I don't care if you're my own citizen. I will kill you. This is not a, a democracy, people. You do what I tell you to do, alright? What's going on here? Oh, ebony. Gold. Excellent. Yeah, I'll be taking all this crap. And it's not really crap either, because it sells for a pretty good price. I'll be taking all of these fine items. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, but um, the bandit raider leaders, they first started spawning in iron, and then when you get to a certain level, they start uh, wearing steel armor. Like, I wonder if that's how the guards do. Not their equipment, I'm pretty sure they always spawn with uh, leather armor and a steel sword, but I wonder if they... um. <coughs> Like their health and all that, their attack damage and their health and their skills and all that crap. I wonder if that, um, I wonder if that depends on your level. I guess we'll just buy three stationary guards and I don't want anything else. 
All right, let's do this. Food. Stationary guard. Excellent. All right. So we're going to put one uh, right here, center of town. And another um, down here, I guess. This would be a good spot. And once more on the... What, what flank is that? South. Once more on the southern flank. There's Flynn over there. I wasn't looking for Flynn either, so I don't know why that matters. Alright, so uh, gotta give them all their armor and all this, and then we should be good. What was that warning? I will read that in a minute. It said warning something. Steel armor. You can do without the gauntlets, to be completely honest, but uh, I'm just saying that because I'm too lazy to go back and get you any. I'm gonna go back and get um, two full sets for the other two guards, and then that lady can just do without gauntlets, to be honest. Oh, she does need a shield, though, in all honesty. She could probably use a shield, so... Give her one of these 11 shields that we have. Um... Actually, let me get two more for the uh, the other guys. Yep. And, holy Jesus. Alright. So, two. Two. Uh, two. And, two. Excellent. I think that just about covers it. I'll go give that lady her shield in a minute, because I don't really want to go to her. Alright, warning. Repositioning a guard will reset the guard. Oh, okay, yeah, it gets rid of their inventory or whatever. Yeah. Well, I haven't repositioned them ever, I don't think. I probably never will because they don't live long enough to get repositioned. Something. Alright, there you go, buddy. Looking good. Are you a ma'am or a sir? What do you need? You're a ma'am. Here you go, ma'am. We've got mm -hmm. some uh, inventory items for you. Please take these with pride and um, don't complain about what I'm giving you or I'm going to stab you in the neck. Have a good day, ma'am. Alright, and other lady over here. You need a shield. Huh? And then we'll do uh, one more raid and then after that I guarantee you it's been over 30 minutes. Because I have a clock now. So I am, I am therefore uh, pretty much a genius. Because um, having a clock nearby, it really just ups your intelligence quite a bit. It makes you very smart. I know from experience, trust me. Just just trust me on the fact of the matter that uh, put a clock in your room or wherever you're watching this and your comments are just going to come out like ten times way more intelligent. I guarantee it. Or your money back. You see, the catch there is uh, you're not paying me anything, so you're not going to get anything back except for... Uh, maybe an apology or something if it doesn't work but I'm telling you it's gonna work and if you don't believe me then uh, I don't know maybe you're just not a trustworthy person because only untrustworthy individuals don't trust very trustworthy individuals trust deception pretty much I don't know what I'm talking about people I don't see how you guys put up with my rambling sometimes to be honest hey Flynn Flynn was just right over here, and now, what do you know, there's friggin' D-Day coming through the south side of Lake Mere. Hey, buddy, get killed. I've got a... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Archer, who just killed that guy. Who was that? I, I, I get the feeling it was the guard way over there, and not even this guy. It was that guy. He's got his bow out. Alright, well, uh, thank you, middle guard. I wish I could rename these people so they had a bit of personality. I'll probably uh, look up the console command to do that later, and then in the next episode we might rename all of our guards. I will probably just name them after you guys, because uh, I don't have any originality when it comes to names, so uh, this guy would probably be like James, and that chick down there, her name would be like John or something, even though she's a lady. And then that other lady down there, her name would be Johnny. You see, it's different from uh, John, because the uh, the extra N and the Y. So, you know... It, uh, it really goes well. Anyway, uh, I guess that will just about do it, and we'll end it looking at the uh, throat of the world, or whatever that mountain is called. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, 
Like I said, the Fallout New Vegas DLCs will be coming up soon if you would like to watch those, and if not, no problem, you know, but, um, thanks for watching, I just said that. Uh, I will see you next time, and next time I might look up the console commands, and then you guys can let me know if you would like a guard named after you, because, um, we'll do that if I can find the console command, if it even exists in Skyrim, because I know you can rename NPCs in, uh, Fallout 3 in New Vegas, but... I don't know about Skyrim, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, I will see you next time, and we'll undoubtedly get a good amount of stuff done next time, um, yeah, I guess that's about it, I will see you guys later, and, uh, I bid you good day, and have a good one, yeah, alright, and my record button isn't working, this is pretty awkward, end the recording, Fraps, please.